Hi guys and welcome back to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about how to make digital paper to sell on Etsy. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily, so don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now for me, the term digital paper is very broad. So what we should do first is actually search in Etsy digital paper so that we have an idea on what type of product are we actually going to make and start selling on Etsy because it is a very broad term so so that we are specified or we have specification on the type of product that we will be actually making and selling we search research first in Etsy specifically so let's search digital paper just like that and we will be able to see all the different types of digital paper that are currently being sold in Etsy now right now the things that I am seeing right now are more on designs, patterns, and different types of product. But for example, this one, as you can see, uh, this example of digital paper is like a planner or like a digital format of a journal, something like that. And so what we can do is this is what we're going to work with because a lot of people seems to have bought this product already. As you can see here, uh, there are a total of 1.6k so we know that this type of digital paper is the one that is actually a bestseller something that people are actually buying so we now have an idea on what type of digital paper we should be making and according to the title and description it is a digital planner bundle and like other planners and stuff so that's what we could do so we can go to Gan where we here and we could start creating our digital paper or rather a digital planner so that we will be able to sell it to Etsy. So the concept or the idea behind this is that usually people would have a book or a journal and that is where people would write their journal, their plans for the day, something like that. And this time we will be digitalizing that. So we will be creating a digital planner or technically digital paper for our Etsy store that we can sell. So simply first, go to Canva, create an account in Canva, creating an account there is very simple and it's absolutely for free. Although there will be some features that you won't be able to use unless you have a plan. Most of its features are available for you to use. So let's actually uh, start right now. We have here our search bar and simply search for uh, digital planner or simply planner if you want. By doing this, we will be able to find different type of templates or items that people have already created before as you can see we have this one and this one over here and what i like to do is i would like to select one that i like and we're going to customize it now don't worry we will not be using their design entirely but we will use it as a motivation or like our reference for the design that we could be creating so we have this very simple digital planner so what we could do is we could change some elements or even use it as a basis to create our very own over here. So uh, for example, we could change here from moods. We could change it from heart levels, something like that. So uh, let's search here heart. Like that, click on graphics. Let's see some different versions of our heart over here. Say level. Like that, something like this. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, we could copy this or rather see more like this so that we can see there we go so what you could do here is uh, this one's a sad version on the right side so we could delete this one and you could add this one so that we could have our heart as a replacement for the mood so that's what we could do you could use other designs found in the templates and then you customize it on your own uh, make it as unique as you want so that you have your own design uh, let's make sure that this is the same size uh, what size is this? I think this is up 0 0.6 so this one let's go with a 0 0.6 as well so that we have a balance there we go now this one is partially filled a heart that is partially filled and then you could go on and fill up the other or use this the same element as well for example we have this one as our last design or last part for the that part or like the mood area 
So let's make uh zero point six. Uh let's go with zero point seven for now. And then you can simply put it over here on the right or left side. There we go. Now you have like a pixelated part for the mood. You could change this top part as well. So let's search for pixelated, pixelated uh, box. Here we go. Then you can drag it here. Then you could make it smaller. So like what I'm doing right now is I'm customizing it so that I have my own version, but with the same template. So now we're trying to, or like what I'm trying to do right now is to turn this entire thing into a pixelated version which is a very cool thing to do. So for example, we now have this one. Let's make this one smaller. If I could make this longer, that would be better, but I'm guessing not. So we could use this one instead. Let's see if we will be able to use this one. Make it smaller. Here we go. It's now the same size. So let's flip this vertically. Then just like that. Let's position it to the back. There we go. Now we have some sort of an alternative to our original design that we have earlier. So let's fix our alignment over here. Let's assume this is our design for now. So you get the idea of what I'm trying to do. You could utilize the elements, the text, and many other parts of Canva. Although the elements and text are the main things that you are going to be using. And you will be able to easily change or create an amazing output by simply using the different elements that you can find. So our theme was pixelated or like pixelated things. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we're going to add some pixelated items over here as part of the design. And how you do it is completely up to you. So uh, I guess or I think you guys will be able to create a better design than what I'm trying to do right now. And you guys will be able to present the idea or have a better idea on what you could do so for example we could have this for the things that i'm grateful for put that in the middle make it a bit transparent by using the transparent option over here which would make it more transparent as you can see and then a uh, pixelated uh let's go check out with money to make that pixelated money then you could put this it's too big uh, click this and we could make this one smaller. Uh, this up does not make it smaller, but there we go. Uh, then we could drag it over here at the corner. Something like that. Now that is for the money tracker. We have a mini design for the money tracker. Now it's better if the entire thing has been converted into pixelated. Although we're doing it one by one. Of course, uh, the more you do your conversion, the better it would look like. Now, you're also not limited to follow to what I'm saying. You could also create your very own a digital planner design over here. You can simply use the templates that people use. And it's going to be a lot of work. You're going to have to create a lot of different pages. Because as you can see, uh, people typically sell a lot of pages so that the customers or the users who are actually buying them will be able to receive a good deal. And a good deal makes them want to buy or pay for your product even more. So make a lot of effort, create a lot of designs, and simply upload it to Etsy over here as a PDF. As you can see here, like one of the comments of this item over here is that you have it as a PDF with the product link. So that it has an idea on, or people have an idea on what they will be buying. So after creating your design in Canva, simply click on share download and then you can download it as a pdf or a pdf print you will be able to download all pages as you can see here so you don't have to worry about downloading one by one you will be able to download it with any type of file type as long as it's available over here and simply click on download and that's basically it guys that is how you will be able to create a digital paper and sell on etsy if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe thanks for watching